Tell me, Maria, what is the most important lesson you've learned here? To find out what is the will of God and to do it, even if it's hard to accept, even then. Maria, the dressy warm you came to us. Is that still in the robing room? Why, no, Mother, I'm sure that dress has been given to the poor. Sister Margareta says when we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes. Reverend Mother, why do you ask? Maria, it seems to be the will of God that you leave us. Leave? Leave here? Oh, no, Mother, please! No, for a while only, Maria. Don't send me away, Mother, please! This is what I want! This is my life! But are you ready for it? Perhaps if you go out into the world again for a time, you'll return to us knowing what we expect of you and that we do expect it. I know what you expect, Mother, and I'll do it, I promise. Maria. If it is God's will, where am I to go? There's a family, a family of seven children. You like children. <laughs> They need a governess until September. Until September? Captain Von Trapp expects you this afternoon. He's a fine man and a brave one. He was given the Maria Theresa medal by the Emperor. It was for heroism in the Adriatic. Captain in the Navy. Oh, Mother, he'll be very strict. You're not being sent to his battleship.
I'm Captain Von Strapp. You are Fraulein. Luvia. Luvia Bainer. Now, Fraulein, after your duties here, would you mind stepping over there a moment? You will change your dress before you meet the children. I haven't any other dress. When we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes are given to the poor. And what about this one? The poor didn't want this one. <laughs> It belonged to my last costume. I would have made myself a dress, but I wasn't given time. I can make my own clothes. Good. I'll see that you are given some material, today if possible. Now, you will be in charge of my children. There are seven of them. You will see how far they have progressed in their studies and carry on from there. Each morning is spent in the classroom, each afternoon they march. You will see that at all times they conduct themselves with orderliness and decorum. The first rule in this house is discipline. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's nonsense. Everyone in this house answers to a whistle. I'll show you.
must want to see them too. Ever since his wife died, they remind me too much of her. You can put that away. You won't be using it. Why not? The captain won't have music here. He won't have music. And he used to love music. There were wonderful evenings. His wife would sing. He would play the violin or guitar. But now he shut all that out of his life. So that's why he is the way he is. It will work out. The captain may marry before the summer is over. Well, that would change everything. They'd have a mother again. It's going to rain. You'd better close your window. <coughs> Dear God, I know now that you've sent me here on a mission to help these children to love their new mother and to help prepare them to win her love so that she will never want them to leave her. And I pray that this will become a happy family in thy sight. God bless the captain, God bless Liesel, and Friedrich, Louisa, Brigitte, Marta, and little Gretel. Oh, and the other boy, What's his name? God bless what's his name. <laughs> God bless Mother Abbess, Sister Margareta, and everybody at Lombard Abbey. And now, dear God, a bell please so. <laughs> help her to know that I am her friend, and help her to tell me what she is up to. Are you going to tell me? and they closed the doors earlier than usual. I didn't want to wake everyone up, so when I saw that your window was open... You're not going to tell Father, are you? Lisa, did you climb that trellis to get up here? Oh, yes. You tell me always got into the governess's room to play tricks on her. Louisa can climb it with a toad in her hand. Lisa, were you out walking all by yourself? You know, if we wash that dress out tonight, no one would notice it tomorrow. Then this would all just be between you and me. You could put this on. Take that dress in there and put it in the tub to soak. Then come back here and sit on the edge of my bed and we'll have a talk. I told you earlier I didn't need a governess. Well, maybe I do.
Yeah, they're still on the telephone. Any signs of the children? Hi, right. yes, sir.
Thanks. 
I'd like you to show Frau Schurter the gardens. Yes, show me the gardens. I want to see everything, and with you too. I haven't learned your names yet, but I'm sure it'll be a while. My name's Marta. It is not. I'm Marta. She's Louisa. <laughs>
in the world. Thank you. Max, you're back. And as usual, just in time for dinner. Gail, did you think you could give a gal without me? Uh, oh dear, now we have an odd man. A little odd, but charming. Please, I'll run and ask for our to set two more police settings. Oh, and I want to see for Alain Maria. Two more places? We need another woman. No, she's much too young. I'll ask Maria. You're not serious. But of course. She's a nasty mate. Well, I don't think of her that way. I don't mind. But your friend did not ask them to die with Maria. And why not? Elsa, tell them why not. Max, can you change your hurry? Yes, Max, we're going to need <laughs>
seven children and one family. Gary didn't even want him to sing in front of the guests. I had to persuade him. Ah, then you have influence. You must <laughs> talk to him. Max, Elsa, this is for Austria. And it wouldn't do me any harm. experience for you. It was, Master Mother. Has it taught you anything? I swear that I never want to leave these walls again. Why did they send you back to us? They didn't send me back. I left. I left without telling them I was going, without saying goodbye. Sit down, Maria. Maria, what happened? Why did you do this? I was frightened.
Each one is important to himself, and you can't save yourself by giving up. But you don't have to lie by putting your head in a call from Berlin, sir, in the lion's mouth. I think I'll call him back. Max, you might as well answer now. Go, go, go. Georg, I feel as if I know what's going to happen here. Can't you see things my way? No, not if you want to see things their way. There's one thing you do better here than with Vienna. Your sun sets. I'm going to miss them. Captain, oh, I beg your pardon. Maria, you're back. I'm delighted. Child. 
children, children. Uh, see, Cultwood Festival 1938, the Trap Family Singers. And here are all their names. Liesl, Friedrich, Louisa, Kurt, Brigitte, Marta, and Gretel. Why do I always laugh? Because you're the youngest. Liesl, I'm counting on you. Day after tomorrow, you must all be ready at 11 o'clock in the morning. That's when. The goal lighter's here, and he wants to know why we're not flying the new flag. Hi! I tried to explain. Keep quiet. When is Captain Von Trapp returning? Who knows when a man is on his honeymoon? There's no time for joking. It's been four days since the outlaw, and this is the only house in the province that has not flagged the flag with the third rifle. You mean the flag with the black spider on it? Brigitte, do you dare permit such remarks in this house? <laughs> Who are you? I am Maximilian Detweiler, first secretary of the Ministry of Education and Culture. That was in the old regime. In the old regime, I was third secretary. Now I am first secretary. <laughs> Good. Then you'll order up to fly the flag at once. The captain wouldn't. I mean, I can take my orders only from Captain You Trapp. will take your orders from us. And so will Captain.
make sure the captain gets it. I think you can trust me to give it to him. I have my orders. Silly, they're married. Oh, Franz, this telegram is to be delivered into the hands of Captain Von Chow. Hi! Hi! Rolf! Even Franz. Yes, even Franz. Even me. Even all of Nuremberg except the great Captain Von Chow. And if he knows what's good for him, we'll come over to the right side. Rolf, don't talk that way. And if he doesn't, he better get out of the country. There are things that happen today to a man like that, he better get out quick. Cry all you want, but just remember what I said. And you remember too. Liesel, don't cry. How could you turn on father that way? Liesel, maybe he wasn't threatening your father. Maybe he was warning you. Liesel. What is it, Georg? I didn't think I would have to face a decision this soon. Berlin has offered me a commission in their navy. Well, Georg? I can't just brush this aside. I admit it would be exciting to have a ship under me again. But what I mean is, it would be a relief and comfort to know that you and the children are safe. But it also... Please, Maria, help me. Georg, whatever you decide will be my decision. Thank you. I know now I can't do it. Of course not. We'll have to get out of Austria right away. You'll have to leave tonight, now! Not without my family. And we can't just pick up and leave. They'll be watching us. We'll have to plan. We'll have to have time.
does not. I have an announcement that concerns you. Ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived at the conclusion of our festival, except, of course, we don't know what that conclusion is going to be. The judges are putting their heads together right now to arrive, to arrive at their decision, and while we are waiting, I think there should be an encore. It seems this may be the last opportunity. The Fong Trap family will have to sing together in a long, long time. I have just been informed that Captain Fong Trap leaves immediately after the festival for his new command in the naval forces of the Third Rhine. A guard of honor has arrived to escort the captain from the concert hall to the naval base of Bremen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the family fun trap again!